I'll tell you a quick story. Uh, when I was an undergrad, my Psych 1 professor told us the best place to study for an exam is in the room that you're going to take it. Mm -hmm. And so sure enough, the night before the first midterm, the lecture hall happened to be unlocked and everyone practically from the class, I shouldn't say everyone, that's extreme, but you know, practically everyone from the class was in that room studying for the exam. So familiarity with your environment mm -hmm. is, is huge. So unfortunately, you can't go to the actual testing center and take all your practice tests at the testing center. They would probably say, what are you doing here? Mm -hmm. Go home, come back on your actual test day. So you can't do that. But you can try to replicate that as much as possible. First replication is, when you're taking a practice test, you know, we oftentimes, if you have a laptop, take it in your bedroom or in your, you know, in your, in your kitchen or wherever mm -hmm. you're just kind of used to studying. You need to change that. You need to be in an isolated place. You need to try to create the testing environment as much as possible. Mm -hmm. Turn off your cell phone, turn off the instant messenger, the Facebook, yep. all that good stuff. I mean, it's kind of, you've, you've heard this, we've talked about this before, but the, the general note of just being as isolated as possible like you're going to be on test day. At the same time, it's important to kind of remove as much drama as you can from the rest of your life. So, I mean, tell your friends, hey, I'm studying for the MCAT. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be a successful doctor one day, and I'm still going to be your friend. So, you know, you want me to not talk to you for the next couple weeks, the next couple months, whatever it might be. But at the same time, you can and should relieve as much of the test day anxiety as possible. And, and it's a really simple exercise. Do a dress rehearsal to the actual testing center. Mm -hmm. Get in your car, get on the subway. If someone's a family member is going to drive you to the testing center, just say, okay, I'm taking my test at 8 a.m., for instance, on a Thursday morning. So the Thursday before or two Thursdays before, we're going to get up at 5.30 or 6, you know, whatever time it is you have to get up. I'm yep. going to get dressed. I'm going to wear the same clothes that I'm going to wear. I'm going to get in the same car. I'm going to take the same roads. Mm -hmm. I'm going to practice at least getting to up to the point that you have to check in. I'm yep. going to get, I mean, that, that, that's, that you can do. So do that if you can. And I wouldn't even say if you can, make it a, make make it it a, a priority to yep. do that. So make, and then do it once. If you can, do it two times, do it three times, whatever it might be. Get familiar with that part of the day, mm -hmm. right? At least that stress can be relieved for you. At the same time, have a plan for the day. Yep. So this is not a, okay, I'm going to take practice test, practice test, practice test, and oh, now I'm going to go take the MCAT and it's going to magically be exactly, you know, the way I, pr I envisioned it. You want to go and I mean, smell, smell the place, right? It's, you know, what is, what's the air conditioning like? I mean, is, mm -hmm. there, is there a certain odor to it that I just need to get used to or get comfortable with? Is it too so, warm? Is it too is, cold? Is it warm? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, is how far is it from me? Is there parking that's close by? Is it, there's so many variables that you can eliminate right off the bat. Mm -hmm. Huge, huge, huge advantage. Well, and, and that's one of my favorite stories to share with, or tips to share with my students as well, because when I was a student, I was a Kaplan MCAT student. Sure. Long, long time ago, once upon a time. Um, but when I, when I did my dry run a week before my actual mm -hmm. exam, I had my Google directions, I did the mm -hmm. drive, I showed up to the, the, the address where mm -hmm. the testing center was, sure. and it was in this little strip mall, and there was no big sign out front. Right. I drove around that block for probably 20 mm -hmm. minutes yep. uh, trying to find the location, and that, that was on my dry run. If I had yep. done that on test day, I would have been just completely out of my mind. You would have you would have added stress where you didn't need to add stress. Exactly. And you know, back to the notion of reducing as much stress as possible, you'll never you'll never be able to reduce all of the stress. Right. You'll never be able to replicate exactly what it's going to be like on yes. test day because yes. there's that adrenaline rush, there's that okay, this is real. Uh -huh. That that's going to that that you just can't I mean, you can't replicate it. And that can be a good thing. And a that little, can be a good a thing. Little stress a little, actually, a little stress is really good. Yeah. A little stress is a little, and and, and you know, we've been talking about stress and I hope we're not stressing people out right. by talking about <laughs> stress, but you actually can use stress to your advantage. Uh -huh. In fact, actors who, you know, perform the same show every night, you know, eight nights a week, they force themselves to get a little bit stressed before the curtain goes up. Mm -hmm. Baseball players, football players, they get a little, I mean, they've done this you know, for thousands and thousands of hours, they get a little bit stressed before they teach. MCAT teachers, yep. we get a little stressed the first, you know, before each, I mean, we've before taught class, this yeah. class a number of times, we get a little stressed before we're supposed to teach because we force ourselves to get stressed because you can then use that stress to kind of carry it forward and, 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 and make things great.